Hi everyone, I'm Gaurav Pandey, your mentor, your guide and your Gaurav Bahia. Today we'll talk about what kind of project actually you need for TCS because that is super important. Even this is hiring for TCS or something else, project plays really a crucial role. So we'll talk about what kind of project you can have in your resume. First thing, for any kind of software engineering role. First thing. Second, how you can decide what kind of project you can mention based on different skill sets. Okay, so we'll talk about everything about the project, like what the resources you can refer, how you can create really good projects, and how you decide which projects are good for a particular company. Okay, we'll talk about one by one. Let's begin. And how's the energy? I hope it's a high. It's a high for all. Okay, cool here. So now we'll talk about like, how to select project for resume. First thing, always remember that when you mention a project, that should support your own skills let's say you are applying you are applying for let's say you are applying for web development web development then you must have the project which support the web development right this will be deployed this will be available globally right so these kind of things second thing let's say in your resume you mentioned some skills your project should support those skills. Your project, project should support, should support those skills. Okay. It shouldn't be like you are mentioning app development, you are adding the project of web development. That shouldn't be a case. If you are, you know, if you are looking for a web development, your project must be for web development. And in, if I talk about the TCS, they need just any kind of development. There's no specific development. So you can mention any kind of skill that you have and the supporting projects. I'll also give you a few ideas of the projects and also like how you can choose. So you always remember that when you talk about the project in your resume, you talk about your skills. You source the interviewer, you source the someone who's hiring that you have the right skills. You've done sufficient practical on that particular thing. For example, let's say if I say that I'm a good Java developer, I have to mention good Java projects, right? Similar for TCS, if you're applying if for a particular domain or overall you're applying like you're good in data science, you'll add the project for the data science, let's say or prediction algorithms or some kind of, you know, dashboard reports or something. Or let's say you are a good uh, full stack developer, you'll mention the project for the full stack development. Okay, uh, let's say you are a good app developer, so you'll mention the project for the app development. And always remember when you're adding a project, add a live link, means a deployed link of project. So the project name, project name, if you have similarity that like this project already exists, like or for example, somebody is creating URL shortener. So URL shortener is something like which will convert a long URL to the short URL. So there's an already running business known as Bitly. So you can suggest like, like Bitly, similar to Bitly, right? So th these kind of things give idea to the, you know, recruiting team that you have done something similar and they can have a larger perspective, larger view on that particular real time website or real time product, right? So that will help you a lot. So project name, again, similarity, if you have something, you don't have that is fine. Okay. But any of you have that's really good. Okay, second thing, at least one liner description. One liner, uh, one liner description. Okay, so description. So basically in this description, you will tell like why you have created this project or what kind of tech stack it holds. I'll also give you a detailed example, don't worry. Till, you know, you have to remain till end of the video. You'll get everything. But trust me, this video is super important for TCS as well. If you're applying for it, in your resume, you have like, say you're going for a technical round. So definitely they'll thoroughly review your resume. They'll ask questions from it. So if your skills are supporting to your projects, that is really cool. That is really better. Okay. Now again, deployed link. Deployed link. That your project is live and available on internet. That you must do. Okay. And multiple free deployment platforms are available you can choose them let's say uh, you know you have one Bursal for front end back end render for back end netlify for front end 
so you have multiple platforms those allow you to deploy for free you can go there you can check them like how you can deploy there the deployment is completely trust me it's simply super easy okay so you can have different different deployment platforms based on the skills based on the project you have cool yeah so this is the way i'm again summarizing that when you are adding project your project must support your skill set first thing second thing they must support the gd the job description they have given third thing that your project should be deployed on internet and you are adding a live link fourth thing you will add a one line a description of your project and fifth thing if you can show some similarity of a project let's say this is a uh, you know a big chunk of product which is already running so that will be really helpful okay so now now let's move ahead few project ideas which add in your you know any pro resume which you are applying for a sd role full stack development role or in tcs or cognizant and any other you know company where you are going to apply for a software engineer role or development role okay so these project will be helpful for example you all shortener so mention like bitly i'll also add a one line description here i utilize a tag stack let's say a uh, man stack and again this project converts larger url to shorter url so very small one line text really good brief about your project okay again another project you can have let's say learning management system lms where student will come enroll learn will get every study material or something your portfolio i'll not recommend a lot but if you have that is better okay but this is really very basic project but if you have then that's fine okay again one e-commerce platform like you can have a clone of amazon flipkart something but that code should be written by you not directly cloned from the youtube okay again let's say a uh, price prediction app so what you're doing is that uh, you are writing an algorithm that will face some data from any e-commerce platform and that will predict the price after 10 days of that product or let's say diwali is coming what will be the price of the particular thing so based on the skill set you have you can choose the product i'm just project i'm just giving you a basic idea like what you can have in your brain okay again but notes make a let's similar to the notepad or something you can have that idea as well book management system like library system or something so these can be a good project ideas for you and others also maybe in your brain there are, there are better ideas so that will be really cool okay that will be really cool but again always remember when you are adding project they should support your skill set they should support your skill set by which you can show there that what are the skill set you have you know the practical always remember when i talk about the project when i talk about the resume i talk about the first impression and you know people believe in a one ideology that first impression is the last impression so when somebody checked or reviewed your uh, resume you leave a particular impression on them what kind of skill set you have like what you have done in past how hard working you are everything shows in your resume everything shows in your resume okay and that will make an stereotype in their brain and accordingly they'll you know give you a chance or not so always remember when you are adding project they should support your skill set cool yaar now what can be the other resources from where you can have project ideas or the project directly one platform is prepinsta itself that you can search for like top project for placement at prepinsta you will get a lot of project ideas over there second thing is that you want to code from zero to end so for that purpose you may have multiple courses over prepinsta prime let's say a full stack course there you go and visit there have really cool projects let's say phone pay clone or something so you can have there right you can have there so prepinsta prime can be really helpful with multiple courses in multiple projects okay let's say you're good in java so you can have java specific project from there itself right that will help you to save the time as well cool yaar again the last important thing this platform always comes with the updates of hiring so remember to follow these social media platforms you'll get the links in the description as well for getting the further update for any upcoming hiring or the running tcs hiring as well again yaar i'm waiting for the top 3 creative comments if these comments are really creative you know or uh, really uh, get a chance to have something so then you can have a prepinsta prime for free and again if you don't know prepinsta prime i'll tell you in 30 seconds that what is the prepinsta prime so basically it's a some kind of netflix of coders like you can have multiple you know courses under one subscription 
So I'm showing you a prime star prime here, right here. Prime star prime. And uh, here you will have multiple courses. And uh, again, all these courses, you will have multiple projects, multiple skill sets, and uh, a specific company preparation as well. For example, TCS is running, you can have course for the TCS itself. Or if you don't want TCS, you want something else, so you can have multiple projects. Let's say for full stack development, for a data structure for competitive programming for company specific so you can have multiple you know preparation courses here as well so you you just need a one subscription again it's up to you you whether want or not but i'm just giving a suggestion cooler again if you want to purchase this you can have one coupon code pandesa to get a financial relief okay i'm showing you how that directly works so for that purpose we'll go to the purchase page and in purchase page you'll see that Okay, if you apply a Pandesa coupon, you will have really a good discount. So let's say a TCS crash score something, or let's say I'm buying this for 24 months, very long duration because I want to learn a lot of things. We'll apply one coupon code Pandesa. Right now it's showing 9,099998. But if you will apply this uh, Pandesa, so you will have a discount. L look at this. You have few discount like around 1000 something so up to you here anyhow i'm giving you a financial suggestion bye bye to all see you in the next video and wish you all the best for upcoming tcs exam or tcs selection you need any particular help write down in the comment we'll try to help you out there bye, -bye to all thank you for watching for this video